What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, X-Man and Co. Today we're making a beautiful traditional fit cook. The way our mothers did it and our grandmothers and you're gonna love it. Stay tuned. Now a fit cook won't be a proper traditional fit cook without the right ingredients. So what we're gonna do today, we have to incorporate and make sure it's proper traditional. We're gonna make a beautiful curry mince to go with that. Let me introduce you guys quickly to all our ingredients that we've got here in front of us to make this beautiful fit cook. First of all, what we have here is some olive oil. You can use any oil. We got some yeast, salt, sugar. It's a must. All-purpose flour, a little bit extra on the side. In addition to that, another six cups of all-purpose flour that we're gonna use for these fit cooks. We've got some lukewarm water over here. There's a few ways of doing this. You could just mix everything together, but we find better results if we use lukewarm water and make sure that the yeast grows on the side first and then we throw everything together. Let me show you guys quickly. First of all, we're gonna add our oil to our lukewarm water. There you go. Then our yeast and then all of our sugar. Then we're just gonna gently mix it all together. Just wanna make sure that it's mixed. You don't have to be vigorous about it. We're gonna leave this for about 10 minutes and make sure that it grows and changes before we add it to the rest of this mix that you have here on the right. And then boys and girls, we go one step closer to beautiful fit cook. Now that our mixture of yeast and water, sugar, all of that has rested for about 10 minutes, it's time to add everything together in one big bowl. Mix it up and get it to a beautiful dough. First of all, what you want to do is add some salt. Then our mixture that stood for 10 minutes, you want to just add that. Initially, I like to use the spatula and a little bit later, we're really going to get in there with the hands and knead this dough to a beautiful, perfect dough that we could use to make this original South African fit cook. If you have to guys, just add a little bit of that flour that you have on the side. Remember I said we need an extra cup and we just want to make sure it's not too tacky before we knead it and get it out of this bowl. So you can just dust it like that. There you go. As you guys can see that consistency there, it's not too bad. It sticks a little bit, but now we can work with this. Now it's time to knead this dough properly. So you just want to dust your surface lightly like that, just so it doesn't stick too much. And then it's time to get this dough out your bowl. There you go. We need to knead this dough for about five to 10 minutes. The longer, the better, until we get a real smooth dough, very pliable and smooth. You can use one hand, both hands, whatever works for you. There's different styles of doing this. This is quite therapeutic. There is a no knead recipe that I maybe need to share with you guys. I haven't done that yet, but we could look at that in future as well. Once you finish kneading this dough, it's time to put it in the bowl. We're just gonna put some flour all around the sides, a little bit at the bottom, just sprinkle it like that. And then just gonna make a bowl like this, put it in there. If you guys can see, it's really quite pliable. That's beautiful. We're just gonna close it with some clear film and let it rest for about an hour. Now that our dough is resting, we've got enough time to get the other side of this dish ready, our mince curry. Let's do that. Got a red onion, some might call it shallot. Let's do that. Let's cut this baby up. If you want to dice it quite finely, you can obviously decide on your own what you want to do with your dish. Next on our list are two potatoes. You'll see that we don't really get rid of the skin because there's so much nutrients in the skin. You can get rid of the skin. There's no issue with that. Uh, we want to dice them up small cubes. You can decide you need one potato or two. We might stick to only one as we only got half a kilogram of mince. There's obviously a few variations of this mince curry, curried mince, if you want to call it that. We're going to keep the mince quite simple. You could play, add some things and take away. It's really such a good add-on for a day like today when it's raining here in Durban. Make sure your skillet's nice and warm. We're going to use some avocado oil today. Once it's nice and sizzling, we're going to add our shallots, our red onion. You want to saute it a little bit. Then it's time for our potatoes. It's about five to six to eight minutes on the potatoes, depending how crunchy or how firmly cooked you want them. You can make sure they're slightly brown. We're now gonna add our spices. We're gonna start off with our curry. We're using a medium hot curry here today. Then some turmeric, some mustard seeds, our favorite barbecue spice, just a dash of that. And then salt and pepper to taste. Then it's time to add our mince.
You're also going to add one tin of mixed vegetables. You don't have to do that. We're just going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. This dough is rested for an hour. Our curry mince is ready. It's now time to play with this dough and make some beautiful fit cooks. Let's do that. As you guys can see, it's risen almost to double what the size was initially. And look at that. Look how pliable it is. Fantastic. Right, so we just want to try and get an even long piece of dough here. And then guys, just to help you to make the same size balls. Obviously, this is not the end of the world if they're not the same size. We're going to keep on making these balls until all of this dough has converted into beautiful fit cook balls. Just for size, hand size balls. That'll be perfect. For those guys that's counting, we've got about 19 fit cook balls out of this batch if you want to make sure that you're more or less the same size. Right, now that they rolled, it's time to get our oil on the fire and warmed up to about 180 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for the international guys. And then it's time to make beautiful traditional South African fit cook. So at this stage, we can only get three into our skillet here, our pot. And you want to leave it for about two, three minutes aside until it's nice and golden brown. You want to turn it over then. Once it's really light, you'll feel it. It takes time to work that out. But once it's light and golden brown on both sides, it's good to come out. You can press it a little bit and make it a little bit flatter if you want to make your fed cook a little bit more wider. Some guys like to have a round fed cook. It's entirely up to you. That's the beauty of this. You decide what you want to do and something to play with and really enjoy with family and friends. Guys, have a look at that. Beautiful. Truly South African fit cook. Let's try it out. Cheers, boys and girls. Mm. Oh, yeah. Magnifique. This is what I remember as being a kid, running around, Oma, grandmother, making a fit cook and mince, curry mince. You know what? This is brilliant. Guys, you know what you have to do. You have to go and try this out now. Promise you, you will not regret it. If you like what you're doing, like, share, subscribe. Enable those notifications so you get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We cannot do it without you. We'll see you on the next one. Shh.